Okay, what's up guys? I haven't done one of these old-fashioned commentaries for about two weeks almost. I think it's been 12 days. My last commentary was uh, that Modern Warfare 2 one where I almost had that nuke, but it failed. I think that was about 12, yeah, 12 days ago, uh, June 2nd. And uh, to tell you the truth, guys, I'm kind of rusty at commentaries now. I don't really feel like I can do them as good as I, well, I ain't going to say as good as I could, but I don't know. It just seems to me that every take I do... I always end up deleting it because I just, I'm just not satisfied with it. And hopefully, whether or not I'm satisfied with this one or not will be the considering factor is if I'm going to continue to do commentaries, like regular commentaries, I mean. Because I'll still continue to do videos, but if I just, I don't know, I just need to get some practice in there because I just can't be doing commentaries like this every, like, I think for the past five days I've tried to record one. And then I record it, and then I just listen to it over again, and I'm not satisfied with it, so I delete it. And then I won't end up doing a commentary for about two days. So I'm sorry for that, guys. And uh, I just I want to point out there, episode four of what's it called of morning live commentary will probably be out tomorrow. It just depends on how much views this gets. If it gets over 100, then I will probably do it. But if not, then it won't be released because I still have to record it anyway. But, uh, yeah, like I said, if this gets over 100 views, it'll probably be done tomorrow and uploaded later on in the day. But I just want to point this out. As you just heard, if my video gets 100 views, if, like, this is how I work with videos and me uploading them. Because I already have, what, almost 800 subscribers, and I think that's only fair if 100 of you guys watch it. Because I don't really care, because, uh, used to, I, I remember when I first made my YouTube channel, it was like it was like a con like something I couldn't get off where I just watched my video continuously and I probably got like what 30 views and I watched it like 10 times so I used to get 40 views on a video and you guys can want like go go look at all my videos and you'll see that it has like 40 to 60 views on each video that's when I had like a hundred subscribers and uh, stuff like that but uh, as of recently I have 800 subscribers and I don't see any any reason why it should be hard for one of my videos to uh, get 100 views. So I'm not complaining or anything, I'm just saying. So I just want to say, also I want to say thank you for almost being at 800 subscribers and that is so close to 1,000 subscribers. I'm going to say 1,000 subscribers. <laughs> I like I like saying it like that. But if I get to 1,000 subscribers, that would be amazing. I, I wouldn't even think of, I, w I didn't even think of my channel getting this big. And it's not even big, I'm, I'm still a tiny YouTube commentator. And once I get to that 1,000, I'll probably feel like a small YouTube commentator because I think anything under 1,000 is just like a tiny puny little bug. But I don't, I can't say that. I, I'm not complaining or anything. You guys will take it the wrong way. But uh, yeah, I just want to say thanks to being close, so close to 1,000. And when uh, when I get to 1,000, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm just gonna probably say a big thank you to you guys again, like I'm doing now. But uh, Anyway, let's get into the gameplay. I'm playing Call of Duty 4, and I'm using MP5 silenced. And yes, the gun is overpowered, but in my eyes, when you use a silencer, it takes the damage away. So, also, I love the sound of the silencer on this gun. It, it just sounds like... I don't know what that was. But anyway, it's kind of embarrassing, by the way. But yeah, I'm using MP5 silenced, and the perks I'm using are Bandolier, Stopping Power, and Steady Aim. My basic perk, set, perk setup in... Uh, Call of Duty 4, I don't really have another favorite perks to use. I don't use Dead Silence because I don't really, uh, I think Dead Silence is, I don't know what it was. Uh, Iron Lungs is for snipers, Dead Silence is I think like Ninja, and uh, there's really no other perks. I sometimes use Sleight of Hand, but these are basically my perk setups. Cause I, I don't think you need Sleight of Hand in this game because the reload time is just perfect, I think, for any gun. Uh, so I pick up the sniper, I don't really use it too much. But yeah. Let's just get into the gameplay. I go 38 and 4. And basically what you should do in Call of Duty 4 is just have fun, and that's how you'll get a good game. Because uh I don't really want to say think the same things over and over, like, oh I get under this bush, I hide right here, and that's the tactic to use. That isn't the tactic to use. You shouldn't use any tactics in Call of Duty 4. Uh, basically because it's Call of Duty 4, and you can basically go in there and uh get a good game. So that's what I'm saying. Just go on to Call of Duty 4, have fun. If you don't like Black Ops like me, I, I don't even play that shit anymore. It's so stale to me. 
And it's not because I'm not good at it. It's because it's just stale. It's boring. It's not fun. It's not fun to play. Call of Duty 4 is actually fun to play, and Modern Warfare 2 is actually fun to play. And hopefully Modern Warfare 3 brings that. And uh, I am getting Modern Warfare 3. Let's just make that clear. I am. Because there, I can't go without a new Call of Duty. And I'm probably going to get Battlefield 3 too. I don't know. It just depends. If I get this job I applied for and I went in for an interview, they should be calling me back. If they don't, then that sucks. But, uh, yeah, like I said, Black Ops, for me, you're probably not going to see another Black Ops video because I'm going to be selling it and getting Battlefield Bad Company 2. The reason being for that is because I want to get ready for Battlefield 3. So uh, once I get Battlefield 2, you guys will be seeing, uh, seeing some gameplay of that and commentary, live commentaries and stuff like that. So it should be about another week or so. I don't know yet. I still need to pre-order Modern Warfare 3. I still need to pre-order uh, Saints Row 3 because for sure I'm getting Saints Row 3. I know you guys, what? Are you getting Saints Row 3? Are you crazy? That's like a cheap GTA. Actually, it's not. It's its own original series, and that's what I love about it because it has its own good story, and it's fun. You could just go around and beat the shit out of people, and uh, it's just a fun fun game. And you, you always see on the news about kids taking these games in the wrong way and doing what they see in the game and doing it in real life. That's bullshit. Any any kid who does that is just retarded or they're either they either have problems. And uh I'm not one of those kids. And I, actually I'm already almost 16. I can't wait till I turn 16. I'll get my uh my driver's permit and when I'm 17 I'll get my license. I'm going to be saving up for a car. Teenage years are coming to an end in about 5 I mean, what am I 16 so four years I'll be 20 that's gonna be crazy and I, I'm gonna be excited to see where this uh this whole YouTube thing goes because I don't know if it's gonna last for a long time like machinima and all that like they're they're having a good run right now and they're getting bigger and bigger but I don't know what do you guys think how do you how long do you guys think machinima is gonna last because personally I don't I don't know I'm not gonna say they're just gonna crash and fall like that because the gaming community is only getting bigger and as we all know Machinima is all about commentaries. What? <laughs> I said commentary so stupid right there. Commentaries. But they're all about video watching, video views, likes, thumbs up. That's how they're so, uh, that's how they make so much money. And uh, that's basically it. I don't know where Machinima's going. I think they're going to get bigger. I don't know. I can't really speculate on anything because we all know how Blockbuster just crashed all of a sudden. <laughs> That, that's that's totally irrelevant. I don't know. Blockbuster and Machinima... Because we all know how Blockbuster, the video store, like, basically went out of business. And I don't know if any of you guys know that store. It's called Borders. It's a bookstore. I think that's going out of business, too, because you got all these Kindles and these ebooks and stuff like that. So, I don't know. Let's see if something else comes in and takes Machinima's place. That's crazy. That's going to be crazy because Machinima's so big right now, and they're only growing. So anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay. I didn't really talk too much about it. I got into the machinima thing. I don't know. But uh, keep watching my videos, and you guys will not be disappointed. And thank you for watching and motivating me.